going live later tonight again as aforementioned told yesterday so uh yeah almost ready cool hello i lost my focus <sighs> it's just fine a second ago i blame i don't know who i blame but i blame someone Oh well, whatever. Nobody's here yet anyway, so uh, yeah. So today is uh, October 30th, so almost done with October, Halloween things. Got one more day left. Uh, as I said a call yesterday and stuff, I'm not sure if I'll actually be streaming the last day of this uh, purely because I have, I will be running an Archive of Sinners event all day tomorrow. Uh, my novel series, Archive of Sinners, which is a paranormal mystery. Hi, Firearm. So um, I'm going to be doing some live streaming stuff for that. And I don't know. I, you can take me in the shower twice. It's fine. <laughs> but no, so I'm not sure uh, what I'll actually like feel up to doing. If I do stream, it'll be super early in the morning because I'm going to get up at 8 tomorrow. So I can be on for stuff. But anyway, so yeah, it's, today is 30th. I don't know. I'm really bad at getting this focus to fix. I'm sure it will fix. Find my finger. Hey, did I do it? I might have. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, today is my hands are really cold, so they look weird colors. That's why I'm. I have a case of the chills, so I don't do well with uh, cold temperatures. I'm in a onesie, a kigurumi, literally. Okay, so day thirty is uh, future. So yesterday was Heine and Leo with past. So day thirty, future is uh, Turl and Rattle. As I mentioned, the posing for yesterday was a little weird on purpose. Because my goal was to make this one kind of the other half of it. So, yeah. Any exciting plans for Halloween people? Staying indoors, wearing masks, what you should be doing. I'm basically just doing the Archive of Sinner stuff most of the day, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, though. Especially because we have a character Q&A, so that's one of the many things I'll be actually live for. I will also be live for an author Q&A and a behind-the-scenes thing, which the behind-the-scenes thing uh, doesn't actually have a set time. I'm really bad at, like... I have the schedule all posted on the event page. If you look up uh, my author page on Facebook, you'll find it. I am horrible at all this stuff. How to market self doesn't know. But yeah, so uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it, though. It should be fun. It's going to be tiring, but I'm also going to dress up for my own sake because I want to dress up. I just like gave Turl like amazing crazy biceps which he does not have those are biceps right the top the top arms the top arms i don't even know guys top arms so i'm legit trying to make this look like opposite of the one from yesterday so i took the pose from yesterday and flipped it I should say I took the picture from yesterday and literally flipped it, so that's that's what I'm using right now. I wanted to try to make pretzels today, but stuff got in the way. I had to take my car back in again. Airbag light is still on, and it's not triggering one of the other lights, lights right, but the camera is fixed. So that's a good thing there. I'm taking it into a mechanic uh, tomorrow or tomorrow next week on Wednesday. So hopefully uh, it won't be too much. It's my normal mechanic and they're good guys. I like them. They're good people.
When is I finally done with this? Oh, what can you barely see? This? Oh, am I? I have you up, but can barely see. Is it because of me, or you just have me really small? Are you sitting on the floor? Oh, right, you can't, you got the eye, the mask up on. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? Okay, it's not me. The eye thingies, yeah, I saw them. I thought that your skin was melting. Four more minutes, that's okay. I can still chat to you, you can hear me. Unless you need your eyes to hear. You'll have to open your eyes eventually, you'll need to breathe. It's like the only thing of Invader Zim I actually remember, aside from the Doom song. What is that noise? Oh, I think uh, too much Wong is making mixed drinks. I know you love Invader Zim. You cosplayed Gur. So weird. You never realize, like, I always tell this to my students when we're talking about, more so about typography, but it's true for anything. Like, so everyone writes and draws at an angle. It's not always super noticeable. But you can really tell if you flip a drawing <laughs> which angle it is. So, like, I said I took the uh, art from yesterday and I flipped it so I can see the angle. I'm like, oh, God. I always draw, like, tilted to the left. This is the left, right? This is the ring hand, the ring hand direction. So everything is like tilted to the right now when I flip it. That's that's how you can tell. Because your eyes get used to it, so you don't notice it. But yeah, that's something really random. But that's why when you're like handwriting stuff, if you try to like, you'll kind of, everyone will tilt a little bit when they handwrite stuff, unless they're like being really super careful or like drawing it on lines or whatever. And it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's some weird small thing. I don't know. Basically, I always try to get them to, you know, actually write decent, like, legibly. So that's where that comes in. I mean, I have, like, some of the worst handwriting ever. shrink this a bit I'm trying I'm trying guys maybe not that actually might be about the same place yeah doing a lot better at this than I thought I would yeah my intention is to have them kind of be like two halves of the whole so Probably gonna play some spoopy games tonight and stay up way later than I should, considering I want to get up at eight tomorrow. So it's fine. I'll just caffeinate all day. Okay, no, this isn't quite right. Uh, maybe if I move this over. Yeah, because it should be only half the face. I feel like I should have just like light tabled this. Not that I own a light table. I remember uh, when I was in college and we had to like trace something. Like a, I don't remember what it was. In my head I keep thinking it's turkeys, but I know that's not what it was. Why would I have done turkeys? I think it was for my uh, animation class. Something, either way, um, you know, it's all hand done, and we didn't have a light table at the time, so I turned off the lights in the kitchen at night and turned on the porch light, and literally just had the uh, art stuck up against the uh, glass, and it was just like redrawing it that way. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, it looked okay, it was just, that was pretty harsh. Cosplaying kitten. 
may be able to attest to this. Because we didn't get the light table that we had at our house for uh, until somewhere after I think we both had our uh, sketching class where we had to do the animation project. I did Micah and Cray for mine. Oh, Barton Martin is back. Why would you walk past me and fart? Rude. That looks close enough, I think. I've had so much caffeine today and I'm still kind of dead. I don't even know. Did I make that arm too big, maybe? Crotch should fall around the elbow. This is also one of those times where like a grid thing would help. Welcome back, Twaifu. All nice and clean, I hope. I already showered, which did not help my chilledness, but that's why I'm in a Kigurumi. Nyanko Sensei Kigurumi. It is very warm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Boss battle, yeah. So, how far are you in ring fit right now then? There's so many boss battles. World 4. I just finished World 8, I think. But yes, I've been doing it longer than you, so that's not like a competition. I was just like, yeah, no. There's a lot of side... Like, so I think from World 3, though, I don't have the third side quest yet. I'm like, what the heck? When am I going to get this? I want to complete it. It bothers me because it's just like there and open and it, like some of the other ones show you because there's some other side quests that I've opened after defeating this world I gotta go back and do. But I don't like leaving empty side quest. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to do it like two to three, t or <laughs> usually around three times a week. There was a couple weeks, so I was doing it like five days a week. But I definitely see an improvement, and it was great because as somebody I hadn't seen like in a while, when I did when they saw me, were like, "Oh, hey, did you lose some like width off your your stomach area?" And it's like, "Oh yeah, man, tightening up." Man, so I fixed, I, I changed my uh, Nightbot link. So now it links to a bunch of different links. Also included is uh, Cosplaying Kittens Discord, which I am basically uh, a helper on now. So I don't feel like making my own Discord in short. And there's no reason to when there's a group community on there and people don't need to join a gazillion different groups. So, yeah. There are some really hard boss battles in there. And I think uh, as you get into the later worlds, one of the things that kills me with the uh, um, Drago one. Drago, is that his name? The dragon guy? Whatever. I am a mod. Woot. That's right, guys. I'm official. That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Yoga man. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. You're talking about the manta rays, right? Matta rays? 
too much Wong gets really sad and doesn't want to kill them. <laughs> but yes, they heal. But no, when you get to some of the later ones, you have to like literally like run through an entire level and then fight him. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those I was like nope I'm noping out of here <laughs> I'm noping right out of there I gotta go past hour now that was too much work cause you know I was like oh it's just him I'll go like you know do this level and then go fight him and it's like nope you have to do another level and I was like I can't I can't guys I can't fight him after this the matter rays are cute where can we get one in the game I would like a matter to come with me on my adventure not that I need healing. I have so many hearts. I kept spending all my uh, points on hearts at first, and then I started picking up other things. I can't even think of what they're called. Google, I did not even call you. Why are you doing that? No, the matter rays are super cute, though. I think they're adorable. Yeah, uh, when you have like the moves that do like multiple hits, those are the, like the most beneficial. I personally think for stuff like that. So like even though it's not as strong, I still have uh, the overhead shake in there because it hits everyone. I've left that one in there. I've had it because I've cycled some other ones. A lot of the ones I have now only hit three or a couple will only hit one. But yeah, I switch off. It's good to though, yeah, cause you know. Okay, cool. I think this pose is mostly reverse now. The other stuff. So this is gonna be Turl and Rattle. So just like it was Heine and Leo, it's Turl and Rattle, cause Tracer goes in front. Considering it's their stories. Ironic that a story called Desert Tracer would follow the Tracer. Sorry, I'm playing with my arm. As in the camera arm, not my actual arm. Eventually, I might have days where I just, you know, only do like one level and then go play with some of those mini games on it, too. I want to also like do stuff where I can challenge other people. <laughs> Coming for you, Twifu. You're going to beat me, but I'm going to come for you anyways. I honestly just feel a. Uh, well, I meant like <laughs> on a normal basis, but yeah, I, I feel like pretty good though because I've like, you know, made gotten some muscle. I actually opened uh, the gallon of milk by myself the other day. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> now, there's just some things I couldn't do before that I'm able to do now. I'm also having, I'm sleeping a little better and I'm also having some better energy and a normal basis. I slept pretty bad last night because I was stressed over car stuff again. I'm really sick and tired of being stressed by this car thing. But I think, you know, almost everyone of my friends knows about car things at one point or another. Oh my God, the house. So it wasn't bad. Hello, Zillary, but it wasn't good. <laughs> So, um, the outside was kind of weird looking, not in a horrible way, but you know, the yard wasn't too big, which I'm sure too much of Wong was thankful for, but it's like in the inside, they have a lot of like weird dips in the ceiling. So like you'd have a really low part of the wall that was only like a few feet over our head and then it would like, you know, expand up. Yeah. And the basement was really big, which was nice, but it's not finished. And it was apparently a house that like an older couple bought and then moved their parents into as well. So it was weird. So a lot of, it literally is painted in the inside like an old person's house. I, I don't know how else to describe it. The kitchen was nice as far as looking, but it's very, it's still a little cramped. And then there was a sunroom, which I thought would be really exciting until I actually saw it. And I was like, they, it looks like it's unfinished. Like the walls look really bad. You'd have to put like drywall or something over it. It just, oh. 
And then uh, the carpet was kind of like torn up and I mean, it's ugly anyways. Yeah, I was like, the, the certain views of the kitchen made it look really nice, but this I, I would love a sunroom. The cats would love it. Specifically, I would love it for the cats. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was our first house that we went to go see, that we actually decided to go see, so. There's other ones we may end up go seeing at some point, too. We'll probably actually talk to a realtor. Yeah, see, that's just it. I think that the cool thing about this house, too, though, is it had, like, this little, like, built-in bench area, which I guess the other people use it as a dining room. But I was like, there's another room right in front of the kitchen that would make a better dining room. I wouldn't put a kitchen table there. It would have gotten in the way severely. And I don't want bar stools on a kitchen table anyways. So it's, like, a built it, – it's weird. Um – Zillary, I can show you the pictures later if you, because uh, I can't describe it, but I can show you a picture of the house we looked at from uh, the listing. But I, I twice if you look through it, you might know what I'm talking about. But I was like, yeah, the cats would love to sit on that too, put some cushions on there and stuff, maybe have like a make it or even make it into like a reading nook. But yeah, I was just like, overall it was kind of you know lackluster, and I mean we're not expecting to go in and find the first house we wanted, and this one we were kind of being a one story, we were like, I don't know. It is spacious-ish, but all the bedrooms are really small, too. It had a lot of bathrooms. Yeah, maybe a nook is the right word for it. And it's really funny, too, because, uh, of course, <laughs> later, after we saw... Um, too much Wong's mother wanted to be on FaceTime during it so she could look around it with us. So we we're like, okay, that's fine, I guess. So she did. And then later, after we, we got done seeing the house, she called uh, Martin to tell her tell him that it was a bad day to go see houses. It's unlucky. And like we're like, the house would not have looked any better on any other day. <laughs> so it wasn't horrible, but... Barchers, I don't mind too much for some things, but I wouldn't want to, like, eat dinner at a barcher every night. Not that we actually use our kitchen table for much like that, but, you know. But, yeah, so. We'll probably um, end up... We got some advice from the realtor, though, too, so it's, it was it was a learning experience, which is kind of what I why I was really... I had been pushing to go see other houses, too, for that reason, not because I thought we would buy them, but because I really thought it would be a good experience for us to go see a house and learn what we need to do. Yeah, no, uh, we're whatever house we end up finding that we like, we are going to try to get them to go lower on anyways, so. But yeah, it was a good learning experience. Sorry, guys. No sleepover at the new place yet. <laughs> Spent all this time drawing his arm out. You're not even going to see half of it. You packed already. I believe this is true. Darn it, there goes my plan. Cosplaying Kit, and I was going to get us a haunted house. I'm going to leave you and too much Wong to handle the haunting and go eat something in the kitchen. Uh, for the haunted house, I guess I just got to bring uh, Kohaku over and have her check it out. She apparently is uh, sensitive to that kind of thing. Or I could just tell her that she has to act like she sees something to freak uh, too much Wong out. <laughs> you did! Luckily, we both agreed on this house. We're like, there's things we liked, but not enough. Yes, yes, I hear you, Arata. Arata just woke up and meowed at me for some reason. Hi, Arata. I'll pet you. Good boy. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what he does. He wakes up and always, like, meows really loudly to let us know that he's up. Comes over, stretches, says hi to me. 
then goes to eat or whatever. He's a good boy. Was it? I think the day that I had to. <laughs> I think it was the day that I had to go. Uh... No, maybe it was yesterday. I'm trying to think of what day it was. We were both uh, too much Wong and I were gone for quite some time. It was either probably Wednesday or Thursday. I don't remember. Because Wednesday I spent all day out at that stupid place. But we were because we weren't gone together. But specifically, it was one of those cases at some point we met up and did go somewhere together to grab food or something. Oh yeah, so it would have been Wednesday. Because uh he had the haircut and I had uh I dealt with the car thing and then I had class. And then after I got done with class and he was home, he drove me back to go pick up my car. And then we drove back and then dropped my car off here and then went to go pick up food. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Anyway, so yeah, when we got back, uh, oh my gosh, Arata was like, please never leave me again. It was so cute. He is just so freaking social. Like, how dare I raise him to be so freaking cute? Nah, everyone loves it. I was very proud of that. I'm like, I've made, I've managed to make my cat very social. I mean, of course, he doesn't know when to take no for an answer, but that's okay. This is a weird song. I don't think I like this one much. I skip it. It's free songs, right? Yeah, I don't like that one. Sorry, I'm not a fan of rap. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, I tried not to make too much noise, and then I almost dropped the soda. Because there were, you know, 10 cans of it, and I brought it all by myself. <laughs> That's why I was like, I didn't want to ring the bell or anything. I was like, I was trying to be quiet. I put the pawn on the door, though, so it wouldn't get uh, damaged. I did a grocery drop-off today, so. I also gave my mother some presents from Mitsuo. I just got her some pawn and stuff for uh, running me out again today to the thing. Although it wasn't as long. Yeah, I know they do. Pretty sure at least you realize that wasn't Amazon Prime with how much noise I was making. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be quiet. Drops everything. Why am I like this? It's so weird because it doesn't feel like everything that I did today happened on the same day because I got up so early for the car appointment. Say, unlike Heine, Turl doesn't smile as much. He a grumpy boy. He a grumper. Mr. Grumpy Pants. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. Aww. Be careful, Twaifu. I honestly cannot wait until we have room for Cat Tower again. Our cats will totally use it. Although, actually, they're doing pretty good without it. But I know Arata likes to climb. And he has climbed up a, on... A, I caught him on top of the Detolfs once. I was like, what the heck? How'd you even get up there? But generally, he doesn't really climb stuff he's not supposed to. I don't do super well with Chicago, like, city driving, because everyone is just so, uh, what do you call it? Aggressive. That's the word I wanted. Yeah, driving a car isn't too bad in general, but yeah. Well, I mean, and to be fair, like, after my accident, like, I'm better now. But um, the first time that I drove uh, and was driving the same way where I got hit, with the same car, because that was, you know, well, I, I, before I realized the car was going to be totaled, and it wasn't making the noises at the time, I was kind of like, oh, gosh, is somebody going to come out of nowhere and hit me? So I'm like, uh, please don't leave me alone. Oh, gosh, no, I'm not going to live on Michigan Avenue. Chewy. Click this cat tower link. Oh, wow. That's a really cool one. Oh, 
I'll have to remember that one for future. I like that one. That's nice. I prefer quieter places too. Yeah, I'd probably have to go heavy duty on ours too. Because we're always probably going to have two cats. Yeah, free shipping. It's the best part. What is that little dot? Does anybody else see that dot or is that just me? It's right where my finger is. Do it. Get a cat. Make a cat tower living room. Oh my god. Have you seen the ones where they have like all the shelves up on the wall? I love those. I also like this one guy turned his whole house like made it like a tree for his cat. It was so cool. The living room. No, I've seen some pretty awesome ones. Oh man, I'll just build our cats a Gundam. Pretty sure too much Wong will be okay with that. Okay, I guess I will go and the posing is down. So let me close that picture. Let me find. I don't know why I keep looking up references for these two. I've drawn them enough now. I think I got these two down. Mostly, I just wouldn't want the cats to get in the habit. Whatever it is, I want it to look different enough from, like, normal furniture and stuff that they're not going to climb other stuff. Cats are kind of assholes. Speaking of assholes, uh, Cosling and Kitten, did you try out those little uh, mats that you got? And are they keeping uh, Lily away from it? Is Finn or Merlin typing this uh, statement? No, kind of. Uh, yeah, no, cats are assholes. I love them, but they are definitely... Ooh, excuse me. Assholes. That's right, Rada. I'm talking about you. He's just cleaning himself. He's like, I don't care. That doesn't mean even if they're assholes doesn't mean they can't be cuddly and cute too. As I think all of us cat owners know, and then Twifu who does not actually own a cat knows because my cat is cuddly and has tried to cuddle everyone. He's always like, why won't you love me? To everyone. <laughs> no, I understand that. I'm really excited that their work, their uh the va the like basically it's like a cat uh allergy vaccine or whatever that they've been working on that is going into like human trials now i'm really excited about that still blame vince okay i'll still blame him but as somebody who also has cat allergies i would love to you know not have to be on well i have to be on medication for other allergies i'm allergic to everything guys i swear I still remember, uh, yeah. Well, it's actually not the human who gets it, though. It's the cat. So basically, 90%, like, most people who are allergic to cats aren't allergic to cats, per se. They're allergic to a dandruff that cats get off. So there are cats who have really low dandruff naturally that are the ones that they call hypoallergenic and stuff like that. Because we've looked into hypoallergenic cats because, as I said, both me and too much Yong, too much Wong are uh, allergic to cats. But you know, if our cats had that, at least you know you guys still come over with no problem for Vince's allergies. So, I mean, there are allergy shots that should help with some of it, but I think the allergy shots don't you have to get them like yearly or something? Although, to be fair, if an allergy shot works really well, I think I'd rather do that than take pills every day. I take three different allergy-based medications every day, so... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, no, I don't blame you for that. Yeah, like, that's that's a... I, I, didn't, I have no idea how much they cost, because I've never seen it. I've never gotten it. 
but yeah, no, so that's that's what that uh, that they're working on is. So once it's out and if they've done testing and stuff on it, it it's definitely one of those things that I would look into with uh, in the future for Arata, especially. Yeah, well, I have to take, so the ones I take in the morning aren't, tech... well, one of them is prescription, one is, and I just take like Zyrtec in the morning, and then I take Flonase, but it's prescription strength Flonase. And then um, I have, uh, the one I take at night is uh, asthma slash uh, allergy, because I was having trouble like sleeping and stuff because I couldn't breathe. And they were like, well, you know, maybe it's not good enough. So they told me just to take that one at night because that's when I need it the most when I'm laying down. But yeah, so that one helps a little bit. It's a <laughs> brand name is Singular, I think. Montelukast is the uh, drug's name. But that one's a prescription. It helps, but not enough. Like, Benadryl works amazing, but definitely knocks me out. Zyrtec has, is another form of antihistamine, but that's the one I take. It doesn't knock me out like, uh, like Benadryl does. But yeah, even though, uh, there, there are plenty of people who are still like, if it's like, not drowsy, like, nope, some people still have heart reactions. Yeah, some people still have more powerful reactions to them. I mean, I'm just kind of getting tired of taking, like, the cocktail of drugs I take every day. Because I take, like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 in the morning plus Flonase. Then I take 4 right around dinner time. And then I take 2 right before bed. <laughs> and I take, you know, painkillers as needed. I try not to use those too much though, because uh, yeah, I haven't actually in a while. I'm actually really good about making a habit of stuff. I mean, some of the stuff I take in the morning is vitamins or vitamin-ish related, but I have, uh, uh, what is it? B12 deficient anemia and uh, D3 deficient anemia. And ever since I started taking those, uh, it, luckily, uh, my accounts have gone back to normal, so, but I was told I have to keep taking them, so. I always, my flu, my shoulder's are always a little sore after the flu shot, but that's about it. I think I might have been really tired after this one this year, though. But I'm, I've just, this, this whole year has just been so draining. I was kind of dumb and uh, wore a hoodie when we went to go get our flu shots. And I was like, right, hoodies are hard to get off. But cause I know she was all like worried and I was like, no, this is a hoodie. I don't care if it gets stretched. So this that was my one of my lazy hoodies that I don't care about. But I love hoodies. They're so warm. Yeah, mine wasn't a zipper. I didn't think I didn't think about it. It was one of those. We kind of did it. I want to say last minute because that's not true. But I, I was already dressed when we decided to do it, so I don't usually... Use... And w when it gets cold, I wear hoodies a lot. Oh! I mean, that's that's actually not super unheard of either the amount of people who have like latex allergies and stuff too they didn't actually put a band-aid on mine because they couldn't it was hard enough to get it for the shot and i was like it should be okay i bled a little bit probably more than too much wong but it wasn't bad and i'm also like eh, i get blood in the shirt i don't care yeah because that's like that's not something they would know Luckily, I have no allergies that I know of two band-aids. 
I mean, my skin is like sensitive to everything, but not not band-aids that I can do. I think one of my favorite uh, allergy reveals I ever had with someone was uh, the mother of the kid I tutor. <laughs> When we were talking about allergies and I was like, oh yeah, I'm allergic to chocolate. And like the horrified look on her face was like, I've given you chocolate before. Why didn't you say anything? And I was like, because I'm going to eat it anyways. That's, that's the only uh, food allergy I have. And yes, I'm still going to eat it anyways. Because it's not that bad. I just, you know, can't inhale an entire like chocolate bar by myself. But you shouldn't do that anyways. And even then, even if I did that, it makes my throat constrict a little, and it's a little hard to breathe, but I'm not like, you know, give me an EpiPen kind of hor horribly off with it. So that's why I'm like, yeah, no, it's not that bad. I can, you know, I can deal. I also like chocolate way too much to care. Yeah. I think for me, the worst ones, well, ragweed is my number one pollen allergy. And that one gives me a lot of hassle. Um, I am also allergic to mold and Lysol, which I learned the hard way. I was cleaning mold with Lysol in the basement of my parents' house once. And uh, my mother realized I hadn't come back up for a while. So she went down there and found me passed up. So yeah, that's how I found that one out. I had some trouble breathing and passed myself out. <laughs> Oopsie. But I have actually been uh, tested for allergies since then too. And I was always like, I just break out to everything when I like put like lotions and stuff and makeup. I finally have found a lot of makeup that I'm not allergic to for cosplay reasons, but because, you know, I literally paint myself blue for Minda, so. The one that I got for uh, Starfire, I was okay with, but I think I'm going to get the same one as Minda. It was just, so, the, the orange was sold out of when I got it. I'm also allergic to moxicillin. I also got the same thing, although it was weird, because I had moxicillin twice when I was a kid, and the first time, when I was like four, nothing happened. Well, then when I was six is when I had the hives. So it might not be a major allergy or might have been something different, but you know, it's better safe than sorry. And I do know that uh, your, basically your allergy genetic makeup or whatever changes approximately every seven years. It's not an exact science, guys. Yeah, mine, see that's just it. I might not actually have one now, but we haven't used it since because of that. Interesting. I mean, I'm actually pretty glad I have not found a lot of medications I am allergic to. The only thing I have major issues with is, uh, oh, what a good boy. 
latte kitty. But yeah, uh... That's good, at least. Yeah, seasonal allergies are horrible. I mean, they're just as bad. You just only have to deal with them once. Well, not once. Once a year? That's what I mean. Yeah, that makes more sense. The only problem I have with, uh, so far I've had with, like, uh, medication besides amoxicillin is a lot of the coatings I have issues with. Like, my stomach lining doesn't like it. So. Like, when it went as far as I literally had to pull off the side of the road on the way to tutoring one time back when I was doing tutoring at the library for people. And I literally had to pull off the side of the road so, you know, I could spit up everything. Yeah, that was a problem. Yeah. This is not even the pen I wanted. No wonder it's not drawn quite right. <laughs> And a totally random change of topic. Ha ha ha, because I got those. After talking to my mother today, because uh, we had a lot of, we still had some time to kill before my car was done. We just kind of hung out at a park and put a lure down and played Pokemon. Instead of her driving around like crazy like the first day. Uh, but, you know, last time that I lasted six hours, we we're like, let's not do that again, just in case. But yeah, I think for my emotes, I'm going to go just those kiosk baits. Um, I'll probably poke around and see what people want to see as far as which characters. Otherwise, I'll start just running through the cast list. I mean, I have a feeling if I give people a choice, uh, Kale Kasuhiko and Lily are probably going to be all I ever draw. <laughs> Not that I'd complain. <laughs> I also still feel kind of awful for that, though, because... Uh, Kohaku is still reading and she's not totally up to date on it and she's all like I love Lily and I was like oh no honey oh no she's like I'm sure you wouldn't do anything bad to her I'm like yeah of course not your favorite character is not safe with me my favorite character is not safe with me No one is safe. <laughs> Actually, in Zos Kies at this point, all females are safe because I've killed off way too many females. I've killed and maimed too many females, so I gotta start attacking the males. You know, gender equality. I mean, it wasn't really intentional. I just ended up putting the uh, more of the female characters into the spotlights, so... I keep threatening to kill off too much Wong's favorite character. Except for she's not important enough, so it won't happen. At least until I make her important enough. And 
I mean, I already killed off uh, Ranafe once. I mean, can't hurt to do it again, right? No, I'm kidding. I finished chapter uh, 65 today. A little later this week than I normally am, but it's still up early on uh, Patreon. So, and it's still good to go, so I don't have to do anything the rest of this week for it. But now I have to actually uh, finish up the rest of the stuff for volume 13, which isn't too much. I just have to color the chibi for the back. She's already drawn. I already colored the front, so that's something. And then I have to actually, I have some uh, omake, like gags I wanna do for the inside. And one of them, I know exactly what I wanna do. And I already uh, bounced the idea off of Too Much Wong and he thought it was a great idea. So I'm going to go with it. I hope everyone laughs, cause that is the goal. And then I'm not sure on the other one yet though. So I gotta look through content wise. Um, I have, I handed the pages off to Ranafe today to do some proofreading for me, so. Not of the old mockers, obviously they're not done, but of the actual pages. I'll finally be fulfilling that Kickstarter from how long ago? Ah, I felt so bad about that. But you know, when I started it, pandemic wasn't this bad and I still had a job. I also uh, was have just now kind of gotten into the, I guess the fling of it. I don't know what the right word is there in English, but like, cause Patreon has been a little different and a little, not quite what I was expecting. So it's kind of swing. That's the word I wanted, swing, right? I think that's the word I wanted. Anyways, it sounds good to me. So we're going with that. But yeah, so like, it's taking a lot more time in some ways than I was thinking it would, but I'm kind of finding the balance of what I should do and what I need to do for it, so that's helping. And then as per usual, I keep having to take, I took a lot of commissions on last month, uh, a lot earlier this month. I just got a couple more I have to do and I can't say no. They sound fun anyways. I actually like commissions though. It lets me draw stuff I wouldn't normally draw, for one thing. I have a Ko-Fi account I do absolutely really little with. I never really got in the hang of how to set it up, but I may look back into it. Because some people prefer Ko-Fi to things like Etsy and stuff. I mean, I've gotten donations through Ko-Fi. It's just literally, they've been legit donations. But I know you can set up like commissions and stuff that way too. I've had okay, I've had pretty good luck with Etsy, but I know that's only a matter of time before that gets uh, out of hand. I don't really like their policies. I've just used it so long, so. I mean, I have my own web store that I've been slowly repopulating because I redid a bunch of it. So right now, the only thing I think up in it is books. Possibly the bags. Let me know how it works when you do. Yeah, well, I mean, my web server is, I've had this web server since I was in college at some point. Yeah, it's, it's an old web server. But yeah, it's not that hard to take an existing website and attack on. I use WooCommerce and I'm using all WordPress stuff. 
customized, but you know, still just WordPress. I also was really proud of myself. I figured out how to set up auctions. Not that I'm ex I haven't gotten any bids yet, but I just, I wanted to try to sell those pieces of original pieces of art as an auction piece first before I just outright sold them. So I'm kind of sad to uh, actually get some of them away, but I'm also like, I, they just sit here. What am I going to do with them? They're going to get ruined just sitting here. So yeah. So yeah, I was pretty proud of that. I figured out how to work with auctions and stuff and add that to uh, my website and yeah. I, I did it a couple, like a week or two ago, so yeah. But yeah, huh, I've just kept mine going from college where we had to actually have one for a project. And I use it to piggyback those kiosks off of it. Um, PKR is off of it, not that I do much with PKR anymore. Uh, my own portfolio and now author site is off of it. Because, yeah, it's kind of turned into an author site, too. Which, that's another thing, because I need to keep it up for that. My goal of this year is to pro promote myself as an author more, and I just, you know, pandemic. Ah, fair enough. I wanted my own anyways. I like it. It's not bad. I mean, I've actually set up some websites for other people too for uh, paid gigs. I don't do it for free. That's a lot of work to do for free. Yeah, but a lot of it always depends on what you end up wanting to use it for and how much you need it. My biggest pet peeve that I've had with clients, though, is anybody who used freaking GoDaddy as a host, don't do it. Don't do it. GoDaddy is one of the worst hosts out there. It's so hard to do stuff on. Yeah, from, well, I mean, it's not even just the company. Like, from a web developer point of view, it is horrible. They lock so many things down. I was on customer support with them all the freaking time. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy, too. But, like, originally, um, for back when I was at the print shop, too, it was like somebody else was managing our website for a while, and then, like, they kept freaking forgetting the password, and we didn't have access to it. And I'm like, dude, I need to update the website, and you're not doing it. We were having issues with email. So I finally, after years of bugging my boss, convinced him to let us handle it. So we had to get the, we, uh, we were going to initially buy the same domain. And then he just said, now nah, let's just scrap it. Cause it was so much work. The guy who had it, who was a personal friend of my boss was being a pain in the butt about it. Go daddy was being a pain in the butt about it. And I was like, guys, I can't do anything on this website. I want to redesign this website. So it's functional. And nope, that's it. Of course, you know, now that I don't work there anymore, if something goes wrong with the website, if an uh, update breaks WordPress, ah, they're screwed. If they want to call me and fix it, I'll charge my hourly wait rate for web work. Or he can just give me one of the heat presses. I do it for that. They give me... At a free, yeah, that's what I said. I do it at a freelance, or if he gives me one of his heat presses. Because the last time I was in there, when I gave my keys back that time, I kind of I told him that I really wanted to get one. I wanted to start doing dice of my own, which I think is going to be probably next year at some point. I'm probably going to look into actually trying to do like a Kickstarter for all that. I already have some people who really want me to do it and are willing to put some money towards it, but I figure we'll have fun with it that way because it's not cheap. But yeah, he had kind of was like, oh, well, we have an extra one here that we don't use. And I was like, you gonna sell it to me? Like, seriously, I'll buy it. <laughs> I can use it. I don't need anything as big as we needed at work. I just want to do t-shirts and keychains. I don't even want to do hats. I hate hats. That was the worst. So I don't want the hat press. I want to do mugs, but mugs you don't need a heat press for. Unless you have that special mug heat press. I liked how we did it at work, though. 
we literally used a convection oven. <laughs> Which is great one time because one of our interns uh, literally was cooking in it food. Which I told him it was fine as long as they cleaned it. So I was like, whatever. But my coworker had come back and was like, huh, is somebody making mugs? It smells strangely really good. And I was like, no, uh, she's cooking lunch. <laughs> But yeah, for like the general setup to do diet sub, I'm looking at like about $1,500, which actually isn't horrible, but. I had actually talked about putting up, doing, using some of my first stimulus check money to do that, but I decided to be mature, be the mature adult and use it to pay off bills instead. And two of my credit cards would be completely paid off with my second stimulus if I had one. This is where I would put it. Dinkleberg. No, that's always what I think of. Yeah, no. I kind of like how Canada did it. Where everyone got like 2000 for the rest of the year. Per month. Not total. Per month. Like, dude, I could live off that. Your monitors are so tall now. What are they on? Or are they just big? I would love 2K a month. Oh, sand. Yeah, that's good. I have my uh, laptop up on a uh, sand. No, not so you guys can see that. I, I could, you know, point my computer towards it, but... My computer, I uh. Oh my god, what did I do to his face? I really screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, 2K would be great too. I mean, honestly, another 1200 I could pay off two of my credit cards and just be down to two. Biggest problem is now I have a car loan. Again. Because, you know, I'd paid that off. So that's like, oh. But I was pretty happy today when I checked my checking account because my teaching paycheck came in almost a week early. It's like, what? Yes. It's not supposed to be here until like first week of November. But it was in there. Which means I could pay my credit card bills on time. Isn't being an adult so much fun? Yeah, I was really worried about that. I mean, I figured the Patreon money would come in and that covers the, I think that covers one of the two early ones. That gets two of them come out really early in the month. One of the other ones comes out a week after and then the last one comes out like mid month. But I've also got to deal with the $70 car insurance payment, which I should probably, they switched over my insurance for the new car. So I should see what they're actually charging me for that now. They're supposed to be sending me new insurance stuff, so when I get that. I still don't even have my registration. Fortunately, they have an extension on all temporary plates. So it's usually only like 30 days. It's now 90. So I swap my plate over uh, onto this car, but it's the one for the old car. And it expires next month. But I still have my uh, temporary plate on, so if for some reason I were to get pulled over, I have all the paperwork that says, you know, all that jazz, so. And I was kind of excited, too, because I realized uh, earlier today when I was at the 
place looking it over after they repaired my the they had to reground the uh, um, backup cam and that's why the static was being weird or whatever so once they switched the ground it was it seems to be better and it seems to be working fine now but anyways uh the backup cam is actually higher in placement than my old one was they put it like when i had it done at best buy they literally put it behind the license plate and it was weird not horrible but weird this one is actually at the top of the license plate thing which means i don't have to literally take it off when i take my license plate off so that's nice plus i can have a license plate frame again i need to see if there's a good gundam one and be like i want this for my birthday <laughs> I can make custom plates if I get dice of stuff again. I think I can make custom frames too if I get dice of stuff again. I really miss dice sub in case you guys couldn't tell. Nothing like the smell of dice sub in the morning. But another reason I didn't really push for it uh, was the fact that um, the heat press is super heavy. So I would have to find a place I could set that up pretty much permanently. The printer I could lift up and down, but I'd rather not because, you know, that's more likely to damage it. And we're still renting this place, so it's not super big. My quote-unquote office that I use is literally under the stairs. I can barely get in there half the time with all the stuff I have to keep in there. So I was like, I don't want to put more stuff in there. I hit my head a lot, and I hate it. it makes me very frustrated and angry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just it. That's when we first saw this place when we were looking to rent it. She was like, yeah, under the stairs. I was like, wow, it's like Harry Potter. She's like, yeah, it's a Harry Potter hole. But yeah, that's where I keep all my Artist Alley stuff, which... You don't live in a cupboard. You live in a wardrobe. <laughs> but yeah, no, unfortunately with the way... With how it's, Artist Alley stuff is so bulky... I have to constantly go through it, so it's like it's hard just sometimes. And I also was te I keep some of my teaching stuff in there too. I finally ended up putting uh, some of my teaching stuff. I want to walk in closet. No, I ended up putting some of my teaching stuff in my upstairs bedroom closet because I didn't have that much stuff in there. So I was like, "Yep, just gonna do that." My big portfolio is in there. I'm like, I don't use. It. I use it like for the first, the second, and third classes of each session for the in-class ones and that's it and then you know for a while i wasn't going inside because you know wasn't safe oh that was actually one of the cool things about the house we saw today twaifu every single closet was a walk-in closet I know, almost. That, that alone was almost enough. I like walk-in closets. But I did feel like some of the walk-in closets were almost bigger than some of the rooms. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? And they weren't that small. I just was like, yeah. Said it wasn't perfect. And we're not in, like, a super hurry to hide a house. We want to, but we're not going to, like, you know, jump on the first thing we see. I now know two friends who did that and have found so many issues with their houses. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, customizable houses in this area, too. But uh, one of the ones we were looking at that we really liked, we started reading reviews on, and they were a little sketch. So we're like, yeah, no, let's not do that. I 
I mean, it would be awesome if we could afford to just build a house from scratch and have it be exactly what we want. Especially because we want to get a Japanese style uh, bathroom at some point. Because, you know, like those little, like literally that hot bathroom that you used to shower and bathe in. Heated bathroom, that's the word I wanted. Heated bathroom. Oh, that's not too bad. I just think it would cost a lot more, but am I incorrect in assuming that? Okay. Fair enough. I don't know. I just always think of, uh, yeah, no, just like, I always think whenever I hear stuff like that, I just always think that's something only rich people can do. I am not a rich people. But that's good too. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, if you're living in a big city, you're always going to pay more. I mean, that's the, one of the reasons that we ended up, like, that we started literally talking about looking for housing and stuff, because, you know, it came out to the fact that a mortgage is gonna is costing about as much as we're paying in rent. I swear this is future. Yeah, we only do because of Occupissal. I also imagine your credit score is probably higher than mine, Zillary. Yeah, no, I don't blame you on that either. If you're going to buy a house, you need to have a, like, money in a sa account set aside on top of it in case there are repairs but if you if you know what you're doing and like have the right people looking over it you should be able to get by a lot of those or be able to like you know catch it early enough on i mean yes if it happens suddenly because it can but yeah mine's not bad but mine's uh not as good as it could be I think I'm mostly proud of the fact that I have managed to get yet another car loan on my own without having somebody co-sign for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, in our case, obviously, Too Much Wong is going to be the only name on the house. It won't be mine. Oh, yeah, no, don't, dude, don't tell me on stream. But if you want to tell me, sure, I, I'm totally happy to talk about like stuff like that. I Financial stuff... I don't talk with everyone, but, like, friends and stuff, because it's kind of good to just, like, you know, am I in the normal category? Are we doing this right? 
too much Wong is like super helpful with financial stuff. And I think that's helped a lot is not living at home and having somebody to help me like guide with stuff. I've managed to build it back up pretty well. I also was looking at my FICO score instead. I, no, my Experion one instead. So I was like, oh man, this car loan might be tight. And then like, they're like, oh no, it's like 10 points higher than you think it is. And I was like, what? Like, oh right, they use, you know, TransUnion because nobody uses Experion. I don't know what I was doing. I mean, it's lower now because, you know, loans. And they pinged my account like three times. Ooh. Yeah, I have a couple that tell me. All of them, so. Well, I use Credit Karma. I used that before I had uh, the other stuff as an option. And then Chase has it, too, and I think BMO does, too. Yeah, it's, it's good that stuff they do that now. And it, it, it's also really good that it doesn't actually affect your credit score checking your credit. Because that was a big thing early on. Because that's why Credit Karma was so, when it first came out, was so, like, unique. Because it didn't do that. Yeah. Well, Credit Karma is not a card. But, yeah, I have. If you include my Best Buy card, I have five. Oh, hi. There's beer. Oh, yeah. I've been given beer. I'm almost done with this, though. I'm getting a Copic marker, guys. That's why my avatar is in a weird position again. I'm actually getting multiple Copic markers. <laughs> All right, cool. We're on to the Copic parts. I really want to sneeze. Yeah, I got, so in my case, um, my Chase is an Amazon card, so that's why I got it. It's basically for Amazon. Uh, my Capital One card, the only reason I actually got that one is it was the only one that would give me a credit card when I applied for them. Do you have to pay a monthly fee on that though, Twifu? Mine are all free feeless. Oh, nice. Oh, for sure. If you can bundle stuff, it's a lot easier. That's the main reason I haven't actually changed my auto insurance. I should have made their noses go the other way. Oh well, whatever, too late now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm technically getting a discount for everyone in my family being on this, like most, like, you know, having my parents on this, with the same company as me. Oh, that's good. Car rental insurance. Okay, that makes more sense. Still. I was like, I pay $70 a month for my car insurance. I have State Farm. State Farm. They are super good about if there's an accident or things need to be done. Like when the ball joint snapped in a uh, Carrie's driveway and messed up my fender, they covered the entire fender repair. Part of it is I also drive a red sports car, guys. <laughs> That one's on me. If 
if I paid it on a like six months or a year. Oh, really? Mine's full. And actually, recently, so the I was going through uh, the person I was going through as my insurance. Uh, they retired and they passed us off to someone else. And I was kind of worried, but they were the one I called to talk to about, um, you know, getting it switched over. And dude, he freaking answered the phone. I was like, what? I mean, I recommend them. I can even recommend you my insurance agent. So he, he was good. I was like, wow. Because I, I was a little, like, I had to call them about the COC, and then I had to call about the transferring and the thing. And, like, yeah, no, dude, the freaking actual guy. Like, the first time uh, when I called about the COC, a receptionist answered, but then he called back. And then when I called the second time to change it over, it was him. Because I was, like, really confused. And he was like, yeah, I'm the insurance agency. And I was like, the agent, your agent. And I was like, dude, you sound so young. <laughs> But yeah, my other insurance uh, agent was getting pretty old. But they were always really good. So yeah, I've had really good luck with State Farm. So, and even when the cop went during the uh, after the accident, when the cop was taking my insurance, he's like, "Oh yeah, you got State Farm. You'll be fine." I was like, "Yeah." So, at least the local State Farm is good. Too much Wong is also happy with his, but they're. Area insurance, which is not local to this area, so. Yeah, no, dude, I'll give you my insurance information. Because, yeah, you, you could, State Farm's good. I like them. And I like my agent specifically, so. I don't know too much about farmer's insurance. I always thought it was for farmers. Yeah, that sucks. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah, see, at least when our guy retired, he, you know, gave us all these options and stuff. And it was like, if you don't want to transfer here, here's some other people you can transfer to. Or you can, you know, just, you know, we'll help you get a different policy with a different company. Like, they were really nice about it, too. And I was like, eh, I'll see how it goes. I won't need to use it anytime soon. Thank you, 2020. Mine's a 2000. This one, well, my old one was a 2008. This one is a 2011. Oh, gosh, that's harsh. Yeah, no, dude, our guy actually, he sent us a letter and then actually called us to talk to us about it, like, directly. Because I didn't answer the phone, but I got a voicemail saying if I had any questions or wanted to talk and wanted help or anything like that to just call them back. I was like, oh, nice. But, yeah, I mean, even when I've had to take cars in and stuff, I've had them since the beginning, so. Gosh, that's not fun at all. I would assume my car actually... Well, what year is your car? Two thousand ten. So yeah, I would still assume even my two thousand eight would have been more expensive than your two thousand ten through my insurance agent. Because one of the reasons that mine was as expensive as it was is mine is a, considered a high theft car. Ooh, ouch. But yeah, actually, my eclipses are apparently very uh, high theft cars because they are very good. Especially the second gen. I don't think the third gen was as bad. And, like, when I started, it was a little higher, but they knocked off money every time. Like, once I got to 25, they were knocking money off every year for being over 25. Yeah, ooh. Mine's not bundled at all, either. Because, I mean, I'm on a... 
quote unquote, my family has a policy, so I get like a family discount thing, but it's not much. Because they have called me about bundling, and I was like, I don't pay rent or I don't pay rent. I'm freeloading here. I mean, I was hoping to be making enough money to cover, like, property taxes and utilities when we buy a house, but... Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mark a note in your calendar. <laughs> because you know we'll both forget. Why does Radolf have so much black? So too much Wong just took a big swig of his drink and put it down and made that <sighs> noise like Mori does in Conan. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just comparing you to Kogoro Mori. Mori Kogoro. The noise you just made after you finished drinking. Makes me think of every time he drinks beer. You did. It was just funny. <laughs> Twaibu got it. You don't usually. That's why I was surprised. You're, you're really quiet when you drink, Trin, really. He just happened to take off his headphones right during that. <laughs> He's redoing uh, his uh, anime white watching thing that we use to watch anime every night. I see, I have a text message. I also got a message from Cosplaying Kitten. If she's still here, I can answer her. I saw what it was. Pretty sure she asked if I had purple lipstick. I do. <laughs> I actually used it for Glaceon the other day. That's not what it's for, it's for Midna, but... I bet you your purple lipstick is nicer looking than mine. Are you going to dress up for Halloween? Or just the stuff like that? Dress up on Halloween, watch some horror movies? I don't know. I'm doing all the archive events, but I'm still going to be dressed up for Halloween. I just will be 2B while doing them. It's okay. I mean, I'm 2B while doing this, so. I'm crochet a witch hat. That was some bonnies there. Oh man, speaking of witch hats. So, uh, the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. What? Twifu, you're Hufflepuff? Yeah, I figured it was supposed to be an ING. I did see uh, Vince's Ravenclaw stuff, I think, somewhere on Facebook. Most of the day I'll be 2B, but I will have to switch into Barry for a little bit, and then I'll switch back. I figure that's just it. I'm just going to switch the, the top half over.
Nobody's gonna see the bottom half, so it won't matter if I'm in a skirt still. Okay, that's fine. I just was kidding. I'm Ravenclaw. Most of my friends are. Although, actually, uh, when we... Uh, too much Wong did not know which one he would be, but uh, I was talking with uh, Rajamitsu about it, and we realized, yeah, he's probably Hufflepuff. Works for him. Because him and uh, Samaru are both Hufflepuff. And we're like, that's good. We got two Ravenclaws and Hufflepuffs here. I actually like Hufflepuff, so... At least like Gryffindor, to be fair, so... Yeah, I would say, I think, Zillary, you're in the... I would say, I think you're one of my many friends that I would put in the Ravenclaw category, because I think most of us are. Although I don't actually own anything Ravenclaw. I don't really own anything Harry Potter, period, as far as merch goes, so like that. What happened to that page right there? I don't know. Where's my marker just dying? Anyways, so I bought a witch hat for my, like, untitled goose 3D printed that I got. That was super disappointing. Well, it was a dollar witch hat. It's freaking huge. It won't literally, it literally, it has no head now. I have so many scarves. Thank you, though. My Zephyr scarf is still one of my favorite scarves. <laughs> it's so long. It's beautiful. Good color, too. Although, I'm using one of my scripture scarves, uh, Kyoman from Sayuki scarves that I made myself right now. Because it's like three layers of fleece. It's so warm. But if I want something really long, I just take the uh, Zephyr one and use that. Cause I have not actually ruined it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That is weird that most of the Ravenclaw stuff is for women, but I haven't really looked at the stuff like that. I think the only Harry Potter stuff I ended up with clothing-wise was a uh, weird situation, but uh, one of Too Much Wong's brothers bought a uh, Harry Potter cat shirt for girlfriend at the time, and then they broke up before he gave it to her for like it was supposed to be like a birthday present or something so he was like i don't know what to do with this but i think it will fit fawn you think she wants it so that's mine now yeah i honestly don't want to at all i'm really pissed at jk rowling she, she is such a horrible person i mean to be fair though i kind of was like i like the books and really got into it for a while but Book five was probably the last one I enjoyed to an extent. And even that, I wasn't enjoying it that much by the end. Oh, I will always support individual crafters. Well, it's within reason. Yeah. I've really been disappointed in some of the people I've seen online that I used to, like, I don't want to say that's, like, idolized, but the ones that, you know, you grew up with as, like, role models or, like, people that you were into their, like, fandoms on, and you just find out that they're horrible people, and it's like, what? My childhood is a lie. Slipping this over so I can get the black on his hair.
And then there's people like Neil Gaiman who are awesome. And I didn't actually know about them until I was older, so. I was also pretty excited. A new author I got into more recently who is older, uh, like he's been around for a while, I guess, or he's at least older than me by quite a bit. But uh, he edits for Terry Brooks. Sean Speakman is his name. And, or he does some editing for Terry Brooks, World, which is how I found him. I found him through the connection with Terry Brooks. And I uh, read like a snippet of a novel he had for free because it was his work in progress or whatever. And it was so good. And then I beta read something for him, which is amazing because I put in for it and I got it. I'm so excited. But yeah, he's been really outspoken about everything going on. And I was like, dude, he's a great guy. I love it. Like outspoken in the whole like, no, guys, we need a like equality and everything. And like, I love it. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I'm like, I like this person. So I'm like, all the people like I'm really into right now, mostly authors. I really like authors. I like reading. My goal is one day to have some one of these authors I really idolize read one of my works. And like it. At least my uh, one of my favorite mangaka always notices me when I tag him in posts, so that makes me happy. He actually responds like everything. I was really surprised. He also has a cat that's unrelated, but I feel it's still very important. Oops, I want to pack. When are you actually leaving? Tomorrow morning. Whoa! Oh, okay. Well, that reminds me, Enterprise called me today while I was dealing with the car people, so I had to call them back later. I forgot the insurance. Well, I guess I didn't forget. The insurance company told me that they would they would be canceling my reservation, but they didn't. <laughs> so I had to call them and cancel. I'm like, no, guys, I'm not actually renting a car now, but thank you. Why would I rent a car when I own one now? Man, I think that's all the black. What are the hours of the Enterprise by you guys now? Ours are still pretty early here, but Indiana doesn't have the doesn't have the correct, you know, mentality about pandemic. Ooh, excuse me, nine to twelve. Okay, so it's not too off of. 7 to 12. 2. Interesting. Tomorrow is Saturday. That's why the hours are weird. Yeah, that's not many hours at all, is that?
let's go ahead and clean this up with white. Yeah, but also pandemic. What I mean, what I'm saying is like the fact that it even closed at two. Uh, unless your enterprise is normally only open till two on a weekday. Yeah, I meant I remember you mentioning us to that before. Mentioning that to us, sorry, word order. Okay. Yeah. I just know when I was dealing with uh, when I thought I had to have a rental, ours opened at 8. Because that would have been November 2nd, which is a weekday, though, would have been my rental. And I had to get the car to the shop at 8 as well. No, it opened at 7. I think it would be hard to shop at 8. So it would have been open when I got the car after the car got, and I could have gotten a, gotten a ride over there from my uh, mother. I mean, they could have given me like you know they'd offered to pick me up but I was like eh it's just down the street but obviously I didn't end up doing that so it doesn't matter anyways eh. at least now I know for future Oh, that sucks. I just remember looking into a uh, last was well, the one time I looked into renting a car myself was that whole fiasco at Yomacon the year the tire literally ran away from the car. So it was expensive, but I was also under twenty five back then. So that was part of it. it was my age. Okay, let's see if I can fix this mouth that I messed up. This one might actually see some editing on my computer because I something is off about some of their faces. I might flip some stuff. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I know. Which I don't blame you, but I also know where you are. It's right now public transit is not safe, so please don't. I would prefer you rent a car, especially if you're getting a deal on it. Okay, cool. So, uh, today was... Future, like I said, it was the other half of yesterday's, which was Pat's. If you weren't on yesterday, it is this one. So that's why they're kind of like, you know, reversed of each other. So literally try to do the same pose. Um, still not 100% sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow for this because I will be streaming a bunch of other things for the Archivist Sinners event. If I do stream the last day of this, it will be probably earlier in the morning. Like I'm talking, I'm getting up at 8, so it would probably be shortly after that, kind of early. Um, but to the last and final day is adventure. So that is what it is. Um, even if I don't stream it, I might do a speed draw of it. Like basically record it and then speed it up for you guys and put some weird music in the background. I don't know. I'll think about it in the morning. Feels how it's going to be how I feel and stuff too. But yeah. But yeah. So uh, yeah, almost done. This was stuck in the last day. So if I don't stream the last day, then, you know, that's it for... The Halloween craziness, um, and I will, starting in November, which, you know, is a couple days from now, I will be streaming on a regular basis on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Uh, and then one Saturday, well, how dare you? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I probably wouldn't start streaming at 8, because I still gotta lay around in bed before I wake up. No. But, yeah, I'll be streaming, uh, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Um, Central Time, CST. Uh, and then I will, like Chicago time, and then I will be uh, streaming one Saturday a month doing karaoke. Uh, November 14th uh, is the scheduled day for November. I don't know what time it will be yet, but it's going to be later in the night. Obviously, we will be taking requests and stuff, and I won't be doing it alone. I'll always, almost always have somebody with me. Too Much Wong should be the first one up and probably will be the usual. Um, other than that, uh, I'll probably hop on some other days just to do stuff. Uh, 
want to work on a remote we uh, we emotes i don't even know emotes <laughs> and want to work on i uh, got some patreon and stuff to catch up on and commission so i probably won't normally stream commissions because they are commissions but uh we'll see how everything goes so yeah you know we'll we'll see what happens thank you guys for coming and have a good night happy halloween